In One Technology was started by the founder, Gene Ostendorf, in 1993. He saw a need for a reporting mechanism for vending operators to make life easier in the field for pre-kitting information, monitor cash and coins for theft. And so the Easy One electronic audit system was introduced to the market in 1993, early 1994. And this Easy One audit box solution would capture column turns through this top header and a harness attached to your motor in your machine. And then we could pick up coins and bills through this other cable and it reported it all into a standard DEX file, which could be retrieved via a handheld or a telemetry device. This is before telemetry. This is back in the early, in the mid 90s. Um, fast forward to 2003, N1 decided to manufacture replacement control board solutions since there was a need for operators to have MDB for the new upcoming card readers. They haven't even come out yet. This is in the early infancies of card readers. And in 2003, we came out with our first control board, like I said, for the AP4-5000. And through the years, we continued support with other model machines. For example, LCM, USI, AP113, National, uh, Studios, AP120. So now in 2023, N1 has quite an assortment of kits that work in multiple model machines, including some combo snack soda models. Um, and the advantage to our kit is very simple. Uh, if you have a non-DEX or non-MDB vending machine, you can install an N1 technology upgrade kit, which will allow your system to now accept credit card vends, and it also supplies DEX or MDB codes for pre-kitting information. All M1 technology controllers are designed and manufactured right here in the USA. All our kits come with a one-year warranty. If you have any problems in that one-year warranty, we will send you a warranty replacement product at no charge. In one technology, Control Board Solutions will provide MDB index for credit card use while still allowing your legacy payment peripherals to continue to be used if you choose to. So most of our boards will work with the original Dummeck changer and a pulse validator, and you can still install a credit card system without really any issue at all. The N1 board talks MicroMech, Pulse, and MDB all at the same time. You can have a Dummeck changer and an MDB validator. You can have a pulse validator and a Dummeck changer. The N1 controller will allow you to run a vending machine strictly off a credit card system if that's what you choose to do. So a lot of um, customers are buying older snack machines. They're replacing the control board and the display assembly, and then they're upgrading straight to credit cards. They're not even using coins or bills. Some of our <clears throat> commercial vending operators, our larger operators, um, typically are going to be all MDB. So when they install kits, they're probably just going to install an MDB changer and validator at that time. Other operators like to use the original Dummeck and Pulse validator. And we do include a micro SD memory card slot for configuration changes. You can change the welcome message on the display to anything of your choosing. And you could also do firmware upgrades. There is a two-line uh, two display. There's 16 characters on each line. Um, you can customize that display. I will do a video to show everyone how to customize the display. Um, we're compatible with all, all card system manufacturers, so there's no need to be concerned there. I appreciate your time, and thanks for watching this video. Hope everyone has a great day.